Hi, my name is Michael Gatewood and welcome to Digital Essentials. I have opened up Photoshop and what I'd like to do is do something called a displacement map. What I'm going to do is put a logo on a golf ball and have it look real. I'm going to go to custom shapes and I'm going to use the yin yang symbol. And I'm going to make paths and what I'll do is I'll create a path all the way around this graphic and I'll make it an active selection. Once I've done that, let's pick a color for our design. Let's go with something like a royal blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill. Alt Backspace or Option Delete is fill with foreground color and Control D is deselect. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the Move Tool Position. Control T is Edit Free Transform. Rotate just a bit. Maybe get it a little more in position. Hit Enter. You're going to see, though, that each one of the edges are very flat and it doesn't dimple or conform to the golf ball. So I'm going to back out of this for just a second and I'm going to turn off layer visibility of the logo. What I'm going to do then is I'm simply going to go image duplicate and duplicate a copy of the golf ball. Let's call this ball. There we go. And you can see that we have a copy of the golf ball. So we've got a ball here and a ball here. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to get our workspace in order so we can deal with both of these. And here's the copy of the golf ball. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to go in and make this actually black and white. Let's make sure we're in the right layer. We've got that selected. And let's get this in an area we can see it and simply go Image, Adjustment, Desaturate. That takes out any color. It's a black and white golf ball, but do it anyway. You may have some color pieces down the road. And then simply go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and let's give this a 1.5 blur. Perfect. Slightly out of focus. And then File, Save As, and Save as a Photoshop document. Knowing where your stuff is is going to be important. So I'm going to put this just to the desktop and I'm going to call this graphics. And I'm going to save this as golf map and as a Photoshop document and save it. And I'm going to close it. Going back to the original golf ball at 100%, let's go back to the logo and simply go to Filter, Distort, Displace. How much is up to you, but I'm going to go with 20 minus 20, a push-pull. And I'm going to ignore the uh, settings at the bottom. Just click OK and go to the golf map. We could not choose a displacement map if we didn't create one. It's a black and white version of the golf ball slightly out of focus. When I open it, you're going to see a distortion that happens to my golf ball that goes around the actual dimples of the golf ball. Then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go in and put in a nice blend mode such as color burn and all of a sudden we have a design that looks as if it's printed. If you need something that's different you simply go in till you find the right look for you. Multiply with a slight opacity change may be best suited for this design. You're going to see the dimples in the golf ball and how it contours to the dimples, making it look as if it's been painted on the golf ball, not just floating over the top. This is called Displacement Mapping. My name is Michael Gatewood, and thank you for watching.